Hi guys, this is my Midwest cage tour and review of the Midwest guinea pig cage. First off, I want to give a disclaimer. If you know me and have watched my videos in the past, I am a huge CNC cage lover. All of my past guinea pig cages have been CNC cages, very big ones at that. And this is just simply going to be my experience with the Midwest guinea pig cage so far because I do know that it's a very popular cage and I think it is a great cage. Um, I think it's a great step in the right direction for pet store cages. It's very affordable. I got this one. I actually, I do have the divider and the top for it as well. And if you wanna get it without the top and the divider, it's about $35 if you look online. I know it can be more expensive depending on where you buy it. I got this one for about $40 from walmart.com. And like I said, I bought the deluxe cage that came with the top. I just don't keep it on there anymore. And I don't use the divider. <clears throat> so first off, here's an overview of my cage. I just cleaned it. Those are my guinea pigs, Valentina and Gianna. They are Peruvian and Texel guinea pigs. So also with the little disclaimer I was talking about, um, if you watched my Meet My Guinea Pigs video, you will know that I talked about how I got this cage, the Midwest guinea pig cage, I've never had one before. Always had CNC cages in the past, which I love and plan on getting um, very soon. Plan on building one for them. But I bought this cage because I only had Gianna. I didn't have Valentina. And I didn't really plan on getting a second guinea pig. So this would this would be like a perfect cage for Gianna. Very spacious. And then I got Valentina. Which this is a good cage for two guinea pigs. However, um, I feel as though you can never have enough space. So for me personally, I do plan on building them a... 2x4 or 2x5 CNC cage and I'll be doing that this summer when I move to a bigger apartment. I do want to keep them in my bedroom which is where they are now is in my bedroom and I will be able to do that once I move make them a really big cage. So for now let me just show you um, a little tour of their cage and then I'll get into some pros and cons of the Midwest guinea pig cage. So over here I have their little Kitchen area, I just keep this because I like to confine their hay. And then their hay, I just keep it in a old oatmeal box that I cut up as a hay rack. I've tried several different hay racks. And right now, I just feel like this is a very easy option. Um, you don't really need to have anything special or fancy. I do have a hay bag that I bought from Etsy. Girls, calm down. It's not a big deal. You guys can both eat your hay together. <laughs> They're just crazy right now because I just put them back in the cage. Then I have two water bottles. Not for any particular reason. I just feel like since there's two guinea pigs and I introduced them as adults, I wanted them to each have their own bed, their own water bottle, and their own food bowl. Also, speaking of food bowls, you're probably wondering where is their food bowl? I actually just put it in the dishwasher so they'll have those back in about like 20 minutes uh, yes I do feed them they do have food bowls and usually they're food bowls there's two of them usually they're right here in the corner they're just simple food bowls nothing special then I have their toys I actually need to get them some new toys because you can see where they have pretty much chewed this one up a great place to buy your guinea pig toys is small pet select they have a great selection of natural toys that guinea pigs love. There's no need to really buy any of the fancy, super, super cute stuff. Just keep it simple. Hi, Valentina. She's kind of shy, but she's actually warming up to me very well. If you're wondering about their fleece bottom, it's actually a cage liner. So it has a fleece layer on top. It has an absorbent layer in the middle and then fleece on the bottom. This fleece layer is, I mean, this fleece liner, cage liner, is really nice. Really like it. Um, I definitely want to get one that's reversible eventually because this is the only cage liner I have. And it's made to fit the Midwest guinea pig cage. 
I bought it on Etsy from a shop called Cozy and Clean. Really recommend them. It's a really nice, great price for the cage liner. It was about $50 total with shipping. Hi, Gianna. And they have, they're all like pre-made so you don't have to wait, which was like the biggest issue for me. I just am so impatient when it comes to these custom orders and stuff. I don't want to wait for them. So I just would rather get something that's pre-made. And also um, they have their bed, their little cuddle cup and tunnel. These are from an Etsy shop called Cozy Hedgie Bags. And these are also really well made. Highly recommend this store. I also have the matching snuggle sack. Really, really love this store. Um, everything is just like great prices. Really great prices. Um, I have a hard time finding like really cute snuggle sacks and cuddle cups that aren't just ridiculously priced. So these are great. have washed them many times and they are holding up so far. Really Lastly, well. I'm just going to talk a little bit more about the Midwest guinea pig cage. Also, if you're concerned about the cord that is plugged in, it's only for this video. Usually I never have anything plugged into there. So don't worry about that. It's just for lighting. Gianna, she is just so cute. So anyways, the Midwest guinea pig habitat, it's 47 by 24 inches. And I would not recommend putting any more than two guinea pigs in this cage. Definitely, no. Just don't do it. Um, two is the maximum, I would say. And even two, I would I think, is pushing it. I'm just used to seeing guinea pigs in big CNC cages. Yes, I know I have two in here. Um, but that is just because this is more of a temporary cage for me. And... Honestly, it's just up to you if you want to just keep your two in this cage for long term permanently Then it's a good cage like it's not too small But there's never enough like you can never have too much space for your guinea pigs They really wanna gonna want to do laps and run around and you'll see them just kind of come out more out of their shell once they have a bigger cage and Once they can do like laps and popcorn and stuff You'll see that they're a lot happier once they're out of a small cage. Um, so just some pros about this cage. It really reminds, it's like kind of like the same setup as a CNC cage, really great for doing fleece bedding with. Um, I love that it doesn't have a top, although you can put the top on very easily. You just um, clip the top on and there's also a divider you can have, you can use. <clears throat> Um, one thing I don't like about this cage is the bottom. It's a canvas bottom and it's just definitely not as good as the chloroplast at all. Um, really hard to transport it. I did have to move it to my neighbor's apartment when they were watching my guinea pigs while I was out of town a couple weeks ago and I just had to slide it across the floor. Obviously not with the guinea pigs in it but I had to slide it because if you pick it up, the floor will cave in because there's nothing like to keep it sturdy. It's just the canvas bottom. There's no like hard bottom underneath the canvas, if you know what I'm saying. Whereas the chloroplast doesn't need to have um, a base underneath it. You could just um, like just easily carry it and it's not gonna mess up the inside of the cage or whatever. You're not going to have to worry about it caving in. So that is pretty much my overview and um, cage tour. Again, this is the Midwest Guinea Pig Habitat. Very affordable, a great alternative to normal pet store cages if you aren't looking into getting a CNC cage just yet. Also, just again, I do plan on getting a CNC cage in the upcoming months because I have kept all of my previous guinea pigs in CNC cages. Um, love them to death, no complaints, but this is a great cage to have as an alternative if you want to.